Always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, Alistair Overeem in DC. It's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name, The Ring. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K-1, Dream Champion, Strike Force Champion, has not held the UFC title, but has competed for it before in his career and will be looking to earn another chance at the championship. High-level striker, but the one thing that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great guillotine choke that he has that he's finished a number of opponents with. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Overeem is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 260 pounds. The reach is the same. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 32 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander Drago Volka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 47 wins, 18 losses, and one no contest. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Alistair the Reed. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? Good. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups. Oh! Holding on to him. Oh! He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. He's got him hurt here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Out of range with that one. 
Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by the ring. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh! Under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, missed on that one. Oh, collar tie. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, single collar tie here. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Good stick. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Alexander Volkov. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just missing on the uppercut there. Volkov gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. That was a thudding leg kick. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. 90 seconds to go now. Big knee lands there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, wow, oh! And this might just be a matter of time. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone! He's and gone. there it is! Oh my goodness! Woo! Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by tap out, Alistair!